What advice would you give to black women who are struggling with self-love, self-worth, and self-confidence? Black women, self-love, self-worth, self-confidence. First of all, I think most black women are, are endowed with those things naturally. It's in our DNA. Society and society, societal traumas manage to create scenarios that leave us not loving ourselves. I think one of the greatest contributors to that is media, whether it's magazines, television, radio, TV, and how people see, for example, celebrities. So to cultivate that self-love, we have to recognize that we are placed and I tell, this is like across the board for self-love, self-worth, and confidence. One has to recognize, no more than ever, that we were placed here for a purpose. You are not here for the great job you're doing at your, your nine to five. You're not here um, for, the, for how your family is going to look at you. Is she a good person or a bad person? Is she an embarrassment to us or she a disgrace to us. Live for yourself at this time. Not saying you should be selfish, but do not be hung up on what other people think about you, how other people perceive you. Look in the mirror and love what you see because you are not just a body, you are a soul. You can't see your soul, but someone else will be able to see and feel your soul. So cultivate that. So for example, if you are born into this modern day society and you don't fit the criteria of a beautiful man or a beautiful woman, you can't change that. I don't recommend plastic surgery. I recommend cultivating your soul, cultivating your spirit. Being beautiful on the inside is a process sometimes. And if you can cultivate that, everyone will love you. And they will not see the external. They will just see and feel the beautiful person. And many people will tell you about that. Sometimes we'll see, you know, the most gorgeous male and you see him with a girl and you're like, seriously, like, how did that happen? She probably has a beautiful soul and he sees that and that's more important to him. Like, just likewise with a female, someone will see a gorgeous female and a man that is in their mind, uh, mm, he doesn't measure up. But she's not looking at his external, she's looking at his internal. Now more than ever, I feel as if people are coming to the realization that it's the inner person that is important. I would say before the pandemic, people were all consumed with the physical and the external and the material and the physical. Now I think people are going in and spending more time and assessing and reassessing how they look at themselves. And there's more references to self-love and self-care than there has ever been in the history of mankind, I'm sure. So people are taking, taking care of themselves because self-love is not just about going in the mirror and going, oh, I love me. It's also placing boundaries on the amount of work you force yourself to do, uh, pleasing people, showing up for everyone else at the detriment of your own self and generally just not being kind to yourself. Treat yourself kindly. Be nice to yourself, just as you would be nice to someone that you like on the outside. Self-confidence. Confidence is, it's, it's difficult to have confidence when you've had childhood trauma. It's difficult. But many people have overcome those childhood traumas and have just decided, you know what, I'm confident, I believe in myself, I can do this, 
I don't care if I don't have an education. I don't care if I'm not good looking. I don't care if I don't have money. I'm confident that I can do that and I can be the best at that and I can shine. That is coming up more and more. And so again, it boils back down to knowing who you are, knowing what your gifts are, what your talents are, celebrating those, cultivating those, and showing up in the world to share that with the world. And not just, you know, um, I'm his wife, so I need to be pretty and well behaved and polite because no, I'm his wife, but I am me. I show up the way I am. Does it mean I'm quiet? Does it mean I'm noisy? Does it mean I'm gregarious? Whatever it is that is you, what is called for now more than ever before is just being authentic and being true to yourself and who you are. Here you say, mountain, mountain.